Hey guys, welcome to another video for Vayu that is the Poco X3 Pro but this one here is Bhima. They are more or less the same thing, different regions, different code names. Yes, we are talking about the Poco X3 Pro and we are talking about an amazing ROM which looks like Android 12. The name of the ROM is .OS 5.1.1. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly install it because I've had good experience with it. There is a complete review coming on this and two other custom ROMs for the Poco X3 Pro. So if you are a Poco X3 Pro user, please subscribe. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon on so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you can join us and support the channel last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on join and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is Kalash let's get going So this is an install and preview in which I will show you how to install this ROM and we will quickly have a look at the device change log, increased volume steps, fixed dynamic refresh rate, improved audio, added, added FPS style, it boots on firmware 12.0.4, 12.0.6 and 12.5.1, SE Linux status is enforcing, safety net passes out of the box, both vanilla and gapps variants are available. So all in all when I read that to you what this means is this is a complete rom and let's talk about the things that you will need in order to flash this you of course need a poco x3 pro which has more than 50 percent battery all your data backed up and twrp installed in this case we are using the orange fox twrp now most of the twrps have an issue with your internal storage being detected on pc and that is the reason we are going to use the otg cable and a pen drive you can use a sd card or any other method or a recovery after format data that is completely your choice right and before flashing no matter what rom you are on you need to go ahead and remove all your security lock screen passwords face and lock fingerprint and your gmail accounts just to be safe now the method that we are going to flash this is we're going to wipe everything this will be a clean flash so once again i urge you to take care of your data be careful and make sure you back up back up back up right now once all of that is taken care of let's talk about the files that we will need we will need the gapps variant of this particular rom and nothing else i don't intend to flash majisk on this because this already has safety net passing out of the box so what is the first thing that you would like to do boot into twrp right and to do that you need to press and hold volume up and power you can release them the moment you see the poco logo there you go orange fox is booting up all right, so first thing that you need to do is you need to go ahead and go wipe and uh, format data, type in yes. Okay, and then go to reboot and select recovery. All right, once you've booted back to the recovery, go to wipe, select Dalvik, data, internal storage and cache, right? So wipe all of them. Okay, now it's time to flash. All right, so once all of that is done, you can go ahead and flash the ROMs. I have connected the OTG pen drive. So go here and select the USB OTG, right? Now the first thing that we will flash is the firmware. There we go. Add to zip. Dot OS swipe to confirm flash now these are two files they will take anywhere between one to two minutes to flash so please be patient while that happens and then we will boot into the ROM we will have a first look at the ROM this is my first time installing this ROM so it'll be a lot of fun so stay tuned for that let's wait for the files to be flashed and then we can follow the remaining steps all right so the ROM has been flashed we have pressed reboot system and this is the boot animation of dot OS so let's wait for the boot to complete all right, so the brightness is too high, but I'll quickly skip through the setup part. It didn't take more than one minute to boot. And then we will look at the ROM, how it feels. All right, so just like that, we have booted up and we are on the home screen of .OS. And what is really interesting is that it still has the Android 12 wannabe or the Monet wannabe UI, which is picked up directly from Android 12. And if you have a look at the settings menu over here, the smoothness is already there, right? So if you go to about phone, you will see it is .OS 5.1.1, the G apps version. Android version is 11 and the security patch is the 5th of June, 2021. It comes with Ethereum version 2.1 kernel. The build is the latest, that is the 14th of June. 
very very few applications included in the rom and if you talk about the camera application it is a very very basic camera application so the first impressions of the rom look pretty pretty good very soon we will have a gaming stream and a full review on this particular rom in this video you saw how to install dot os 5.1.1 on the poco x3 pro let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye